What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide in our Ultimate Training Guide playlist. We are looking at the Atletico player pack today and we are starting with the Paul, right? So this guy is an interesting choice and I'm going to tell you why. There's a couple of reasons, okay? Firstly, we have some excellent player skills. Double touch, way to pass, true passing, pinpoint crossing, low lofted pass, but he also has fighting spirit. Now, I would definitely recommend you guys to play this guy as an AMF. I will do two training builds of him. The first build that we're going to show you is going to be your traditional kind of center midfielder, chasing every ball, being aggressive. Even though this guy doesn't have insane uh, defense skills, I find that he is an excellent ball winner, right? And this is probably due to his AI. Um, I have the player of the week version of him, which was slightly better defensively, uh, just slightly better defensively, but we can train him up to be, you know, equally as good, if not better, uh, if we just pump a lot into defensive stats, which we'll see in a second, right? But if I was playing DePaul in this role, I would be playing a very competitive or combative or competitive midfield, right? I'm not so concerned about like, um, it will depend on the formation that you're playing. I'm not so concerned about like, you know, this guy leading the line for, for scoring chances. That would be mostly my wingers and my center forwards. So I'm going to show you this build of him. Then I'm going to show you uh, what kind of formation I play him in. And then we're going to show you a, show you a more traditional attacking midfielder whole player version of him, right? Because as I said, he does have excellent player skills. He has very, very solid and complete passing, dribbling, and speed. And the only thing that's really lacking is his defense, right? But we can boost that up quite nicely, especially the tackling and the defensive engagement, which is always nice to have, even with a center midfielder if you're playing him, right? So first build that we're going to show you is going to be that center midfielder build. So as you see here, he goes to a 93. We're going to pump in four into passing and dribbling just to get him into the 80s and also just to be able to have that tight possession that when he comes in uh, to possession of the ball, he will be able to just do something with it. You you know, you have guys like Goretzka um, that are kind of limited with their on-the-ball stuff. They will, in fairness, they will lose you the ball sometimes in possession because they don't have those death flicks and the mobility or versatility that these players have, right? Because the Paul is a whole player, he is naturally going to play very central and he's going to push forward to try and get into that chosen position or that preferred kind of area of the pitch, that zone that he likes to kind of occupy, right? So what we're going to be doing with this card is we're going to be pumping 8 into defense and 11 into lower body strength, right? Now, the reason we've pumped so much into lower body strength is for a very specific uh, reason because we want to play a very personal role with the Paul and do a lot of manual defending, right? If you aren't planning on doing a lot of manual defending, you can obviously take two or three out of this. You can leave the stamina at 85. The speed doesn't really concern us that too much. And we can pump this up to get to 75 aggression. Me, personally, I think this is probably a better version of him um, than any that's out there defensively because you're going to have 80 tackling, 84 defensive engagement, and 75 aggression. But you still have dribbling and low pass above 80. You have speed and acceleration above 80. You have balance and offensive awareness over 80. And you have stamina at 86, which is huge for a whole player, right? Now, as I said, with this card, it's a very specific position and role that you're going to be playing with him. So if we are training him defensively, obviously we have his standard card here, right? If we are training him, or not his standard card, this is a card that they released, which was a club selection that was part, I think it was one of the club packs that they released. But anyway, this is the version I have of him, right? If you are using this card, right, and you're using this pack of him, this is kind of how I would be setting him up. Because you want him to operate as more of a kind of like a pivot here, you're going to have the cover in your two boys, a DMF and a CMF. And then you're also going to be using him, not as an AMF, but you're going to be using him to cover back a little bit as well, right? We also could just have a flat back tree as well, if you wanted to have that, or middle tree, where you literally link, sync them up with here. So they've got each got a buddy, the buddy system. They've each got a buddy, they're just placed in front, and you go very central, right? You go very central, and you have this. And that's what a lot of people are using at the moment, something like that. Um... And it's kind of, you have, you you know, you're manually kind of going out wide with Kostic. Obviously, we wouldn't have to play exactly this position here, but you're kind of manually pushing out right, you're manually defending out right. So what the Paul would be doing as this kind of role would be basically just hovering around manually all these areas of the pitch, right? Now, you do need to be patient. You do need to, obviously, there is better players that you could play in that role, which is why I definitely would play the Paul in this kind of role here as a CMF, right? You're still going to have um the options to to get forward and have a different kind of role that he's going to be playing right you don't need to go this attacking 
Um, you know, you can go like this and make, move that to a right back, right midfielder. Obviously, we're not going to be playing with this exact squad. But this is kind of how I would play him in the kind of Pedri role. You're still keeping him as an AMF. You can switch him to an AMF if you want. It doesn't really make a difference. But I would definitely keep him as a CMF or an AMF here in the middle. So you don't need to worry too much about defense. And for that, this is the build that we would be doing for that. It would be this one here, right? So this is the second build of him. He's more of an attacking midfielder, kind of a whole player, traditional whole player. If you are looking for somebody that is like Pedri or you're looking for somebody that has got excellent player skills, as we said, this guy has got double touch, right? He's got double touch. He's got long range pa uh, shooting. He's got true passing, way to pass, low lofted pass, but he's also got fighting spirit. And the key one here as well is that he has incisive run, amazing run, as well as long ranger and long ball expert. So he can pretty much do everything when you're controlling him and the AI will do everything with him when he's not controlled by you. So he is an exceptional player. We've gone for 11 into dribbling, 9 into dexterity and passing and then 3 into shooting. You know, you can pump that up if you want the aggression slightly up as well or you want your lower body strength. We don't really need speed for this one because he's just going to be sitting in that attack and midfield role. Uh, so we could put aggression up if you want tackling there, but I genuinely have the finishing up for the curl just to pump it in. So that is two builds of the Paul. I'll be back quite soon with another training guide. Let me know if you're enjoying these lads and check out the other guides. I'll talk to you later. Peace.